Hello, I'm Dr. Rodney Ford. I'm a paediatrician and gastroenterologist. I have been looking after children with food allergies for 30 years. And I've found out that food makes a lot of people sick. The big question I'm posing today is who needs a gluten test? Well, the people who need a gluten test are the people who get sick from gluten. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? But what are the symptoms? How would you know if you are getting sick from gluten? Well, the list of gluten symptoms is longer than my arm. The gluten symptoms can start in your head. You can get headaches, migraines, irritability, moody, depressed, agitated, anxious. You can have problems with your muscles. You can have problems with your balance. You can be wobbly. And then from there, gluten can cause all sorts of trouble with your gut, from your mouth with ulcers, with gastroesophageal reflux, with gut stuff coming up and burning your esophagus. And then you can get stomach troubles with bloating and pain, and your small bowel can get damaged, and you can poo diarrhea, and then you can get constipation because your gut doesn't work properly. <sighs> Anybody with any irritable bowel sort of symptoms can be troubled with gluten. And then there's all of your skin. Your skin is a huge organ in your body. It can be itchy and rashy with eczema. And there's a special thing called dermatitis herpetiformis, which is a very bubbly, itchy rash which goes on for years and years and years from gluten. So you can get brain and nerve problems, you can get gut problems, and you can get skin problems. Now the little trick about the gluten symptoms are that most of us think we're normal. Most of us think, well, we've just got a funny gut, or we just get headaches, or we're just the sort of person who gets anxious. We are so used to having these symptoms, we're so used to being sick, that we don't know we're sick. How would you know if you're normal or not? The people who need a gluten test are the people who get sick. It's interesting that probably at least a third of all people with chronic illness have a gluten problem. I call it the people who are sick, tired and grumpy. Those people need to be tested for gluten. But what test do they need? Imagine this. Imagine that this is gluten. This is the part of wheat that when you eat it and it goes down into your system, you can't digest it and it goes into your blood and the body wants to get rid of it. How does it do that? Well, it makes an antibody. This is a model or schematic idea of an antibody. The body makes these from protein and it finds the gluten and it clicks onto it and gets rid of it because it is an exact match. So this is the antibody. One of the blood tests that we look for is the gluten antibody. We're looking for this. And if you've got high amounts of this in your blood, which is made from the gluten, then you are likely to have a gluten problem. But there's another sort of antibody that we look for. The other sort of antibody we look for is a tissue damage antibody. Imagine this is tissue in your gut and it's getting a bit damaged and it makes a special enzyme and the body looks for this and makes an antibody which exactly fits into it and then it can get rid of that protein from the body. This is the tissue damage antibody. So there are two antibodies that we are looking for for gluten. We're looking for the gluten antibody and we're looking for the tissue damage antibody. My message is this, that if you are sick, tired and grumpy, if you have symptoms anywhere in your body, your head, your nerves, your gut, your skin, if, you, if you're feeling crook, then get a blood test. Get a blood test for your tissue damage, but particularly get a blood test for the gluten reactivity because 
about a third of people who are sick, tired and grumpy and got symptoms are reacting to gluten.